everyone. Brenda Summers, Independent Sensi Consultant. Welcome back to my channel. Well, I have more Sensi boxes, more things to share. How exciting. And I don't know what's in there. <laughs> like my last video, everything was a surprise. I have a habit of um, buying stuff and then it's like, okay, <laughs> putting it off. <laughs> And then all of a sudden I get all these boxes piled on my doorstep and my husband goes, hmm, we've been shopping, have we? <laughs> since he's been home, um, since the pandemic, he works from home, so I can't sneak anything past him. He knows. <laughs> so it's like, okay. It's like, yes, I bought more. <laughs> more. Not that I need more, but... Um, I enjoy Scentsy, so that's my addiction. Scentsy, Scentsy Buddies, and Wax. So, without further ado, I will share with you. I have three boxes. I have a small, medium, and large again. I have no clue what's inside them. Does everybody else have problems like I do? I'm a short person. So, look at these sleeves. Isn't that ridiculous? I mean, I bought it because this is comfy cozy and I like it but look at the sleeves I mean what were they thinking I'm sure that's the style but now I feel like um, I'm a wizard or something <laughs> I could go on Harry Potter oh I got the hat <laughs> it's a Christmas hat Woo! I feel like I could fly um, yeah clothes do not fit me unless it's in petite form I'm uh, um, but I'm weirdly shaped because I'm petite, but then I'm large in some areas and not large in the others. And uh, So if I happen to buy normal clothing, I either have to cut a mile off of it or I have to alter it. So I tried to stick within the parameters of petite, my petite sizes. So that's my problems <laughs> these days. And I have small feet, so not too small, but I have like a size 7, so that's pretty small for a um, woman's foot. Uh, my daughter's is a size 11, so, but she's much taller than I am. <laughs> so, anywho, um, hope everyone's having a good day. So far, I'm just trying to clean up around here, um, do last minute things. Um, Wes and I are off to Ottawa this weekend. I get to visit my son and his three children, which are our grand um, children. We have two grandsons and a granddaughter, so we're excited. Um, we get to bring up um, our gifts to them and we get to see them a little bit before Christmas, so and before the nasty weather gets here. So I'm hoping the weather stays pretty nice. I mean, we're still in um, pretty good weather considering could be a blizzard now. Um, like I said in my last video, we can have four seasons in one day. And <laughs> I'm not joking. I never put away wardrobes because what's the point? I'm either pulling out shorts, pulling out capris, pulling out jeans, or pulling out sweatshirts. I always have t-shirts on hand and I always have leggings. So what's the point? <laughs> And then there's always my jammies to fall back on. So when <laughs> I have those lazy days. Anyways, enough about my jammies and clothing situation. <laughs> what have you guys been up to lately? Um, just let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, my house still looks like a bomb um, exploded. I'm having problems deciding what I'm keeping, what I'm donating, what I'm gifting people eventually so my closets are like packed to the brim but yet <laughs> I still share Sunsy with you so anyways um I'll start off with a small box so like I said the other last video I have no clue what I ordered to be honest this is um um what I'm tongue-tied whatsoever I do not know so Surprise! <laughs> um, and it's always a surprise because it's like, really? Really? 
but we've had so many sales and so many LTOs lately that it's like everything blurred into one. So, and then they try to keep up with the shipping. I'm really surprised at the shipping, how fast the shipping has um, actually gone out. I had a customer order something last Friday, even though the deadline was December 9th. It was December 10th, was it last Friday? And um, they've already shipped her order out. So that's lickety split. I'm really, really um, pleased. And and um, since he does a great do job shipping, they do everything that's humanly possible to, to make their customers happy. And I'm pretty sure my customer will be pretty happy. I'm pretty impressed. Anyways, sorry for the noise. It comes with miles and miles of paper again. Okay. Oh, okay. I know what this is. Okay, it's my Starry Frontier warmer. Okay, story to this was I had a Solitude warmer. I loved it. It was tin and well, tin or metal with a shallow dish, glass dish on the um on the top. And then it had a handle. It reminded me of a lantern. And then it had all kinds of snowflakes. And I had been using it as part of my Christmas um, decor. And then I only used it a couple of times. I pulled it out, um, decorated it downstairs. It was on my table. I went to turn it on. And this um, rolly switch disintegrated in my hand. I was so devastated. So... It was either get my husband to put a new plug on it or contact Sensi and get a replacement warmer. So I guess I'm on the lookout for a solitude warmer eventually. I may find one uh, along the way, but I decided to get a replacement. So under Sensi's warranty, they will replace lifetime guarantee any manufacturing or defective part on their um, Sensi warmers and since it was a switch and since I was turning it on and had disintegrated um, in my hands I had to show them a picture which is fine. Um, I contacted um, Sensi Consultant um, customer service and then um, all they wanted me to do was repackage it and they sent me a shipping label which was fine and I shipped it back and um, they already had the order um, ready to go um, after speaking with them, but all, they had to get confirmation that I actually sent it out. It, it was through Pure Later, and within a couple days, this was being shipped out, and I finally got it. So this was a couple weeks ago. So to me, that's pretty good shipping. Um, so I decided this is not a new warmer. We had it last year as well. It's one of those non-glazed um, warmers like the... Um, joy one that I showed you the mini warmer in the last video um, so you have to be careful about not getting the wax built on it because um, it's it's hard to get off um, but I mean it's worth um, it's worth it because this is such a gorgeous warmer um, it reminds me of um, Canada because of the moose and it, that we have up north and deer and everything else so this is a good size dish um, so the dish is glazed inside but on the outside it's that matted kind of porcelain so I'm sure if you knocked it hard enough it might chip so just be careful and it has a four on it as you can see four um, so I would not put more than four cubes in that warmer or you're going to have a wax event or spillage. And then this is a really, really gorgeous warmer. Um, I think it's a 20 watt or 25 watt. 25 watt, I believe. And then let me unpackage it for you. And then look at, look, look at all the details. I'll try to plug it in so you can see it. I'm going to actually put a colored bulb in this, maybe purple or blue, to give it that ominous. Because this is just pure white. I mean, you really can't see the details to it. But this is gorgeous. I mean, and then, so if you like that flat glaze um, 
warmer, ceramic warmer, then you'll love this. It's really, really pretty. And so just give me a second and I will see if I can plug this, this guy in. So, <clears throat> so that was my replacement warmer. So I really loved my solitude warmer though. It was everything that I liked about warmers. But anyways, ah, it happens. Life happens. Okay, my plug is not cooperating. Okay, let me screw the bulb in. So it's a fair size warmer actually. Um, I'm surprised. I believe it's 25 watt. Don't quote me. Maybe it's a 20. Uh, I'm really bad at deciding. So you just screw it in like that. Um, it's a 25 watt. Okay. So I was right. And then... Okay. We're not going to get all the detail. Where's my sweet spot? Okay, there we go. Isn't that gorgeous? And I think with a colored light bulb in it, it's just going to be even more gorgeous. Look at the moon and the stars. I mean, it really, really lights up. And then the trees. And then the, I think of Canada when I think of the moose. Really, really pretty. And then you got, it reminds me of stars, all these holes. So this will look gorgeous in the dark. Um, and then that's what the back. So isn't that pretty? And it kind of glistens. Like, look at it. does look like stars, but they're just holes. Different shaped holes giving you that illusion. So I'm really happy that I got this. Like, it's it's a gorgeous warmer. So there you have it. I'll lit up. So I always like oh, when people light up their warmers. I couldn't light up my mini warmers. Sorry, because I don't have the right plug up here. But um I usually say, why aren't you lighting up your warmer? So I'm just as bad um, for not lighting up my warmer. So I, I apologize for that. But these I can light up. So I'm really happy to share that with you. And if you were on the fence about this one, um, it's a nice warmer. Um, you really can't go wrong with it. So I'm just going to set this over here. The packaging. I'll pack it up. I'm no good at packing up things. Like, my husband just laughs at me. He's going, you didn't pack it up right. Well, that's why I got you. <laughs> Anyways, this second box is a little bit light. Um, honestly, I don't know what's in here. <laughs> I keep saying that. I honestly don't know. I mean, how good am I as a Sinti consultant if I don't know what I order? Well, this is just for myself, so... I mean, it's no biggie. If it was for a customer, I would be on it, making sure that um, they got what they, what they had ordered and everything was in good shape. Um, for myself, it's like, whatever. <laughs> um, I'll deal with it as it comes. So, the technical difficulties. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> life and times of Brenda. This is just the way I am. I'm a klutz. Nothing happens. Oh my goodness. Sorry. Running out of room actually. This is kind of sad. Woo. So. Wow. So I was on the fence about this warmer, and when it's got restocked, ta-da, I actually picked it up. All a glow large green warmer. Um, I have no clue where I'm going to put it, but I also bought the small one, and then I'm waiting to buy the medium one, so I want to 
do a, a tracing. But when I saw this on another consultant's um, YouTube video, I think it was Michael from the UK, very, very gorgeous. And then Lisa Roberry showed it. Very, very pretty. Different, unique. It's all um, metal and tin with the um, green glaze. But I am not going to be unboxing this because I saw how much packaging is in here and <laughs> it is a nightmare. So maybe at the end, if I have time, maybe I'll try to dive in and plug it in. Cause like I said, I like to see warmers um, lit up too. So just that one warmer in that one box. <laughs> And then another. This one's the heavy one. Okay. So, so like I said, um, I was on the fence about this a glow um, warmer set. And um, well, I call it a set. You have to buy them individually. But um, I think the green one and the small one is still available. And then tomorrow... Um, the medium one is available, and I've had my eye on that one too. Um, I guess I waited too long to order them, and then the green one went out of stock, and I said, oh, what's the point? And then the medium went out of stock, and then they brought back the green one. They've always had the small one, so I thought, okay, I'll get the green, I'll get the small, and then if the medium ever comes back, I'll get the medium. So that's what I'm doing. But, um, yeah. I procrastinate and usually it takes me forever and ever and ever <laughs> to decide on what I actually want to um, order. And this was part of a party that I um, had um, closed. So I used my reward points. I think I closed at four half off items and almost $200 in product credits. So I thought I did well for my money, and of course I bought more warmers. Um, I have wax coming out my ears, so I don't think I bought, I think I bought one wax bar, and that was it. So I did well on the wax, but so now, here we go. Sorry. Technical difficulties. There's the box. More paper, and then, like I said, this is a heavy box, and that's what that looks like. So, like I said, I bought one, one wax bar, and it's by the sea. I love this one. When I'm in the mood, um, it's fresh, it's vibrant, it lifts my spirits up. I think it's dewy green grass and ocean and. But there's no salty component to it. So, and I know it's a new bar because it was poured recently because of the fragrance families. This is a great one. It lasts for a long time. I use it in my bathroom and in my hall all the time. I use it in my bedroom. Um, to me, it has a little bit of floral note to it. Um, so that's what I smell. But I know there's fresh dewy green grass in here. Um, freshness, vibrancy. Some people don't do um, like fresh, clean scents. This is one. Um, this actually, if you mixed it with lilacs and violets, would be a good mix. It would be very, very pretty. But this on its own, I think over the summer or before the summer, I was like melting this like a lot. So that's by the sea. Still available. And then I picked up one by the sea scent circle because I had like a couple dollars to spend and then I picked up a newborn nursery this is just straight up powder and newborn baby smell um, it came with a Scentsy Buddy that I picked up yes another Scentsy Buddy <laughs> and then let's see the Scentsy Buddy Okay. Okay, warmer on top of warmers. Okay, I can't 
can't get my Scentsy Buddy out. Okay, maybe I should have unboxed everything before I actually started videotaping. But anyways, it is what it is. <laughs> I'll do my best. Thank you for um, staying with me if you've made it this long. I decided to buy Oakley the Owl. He is a Bring Back My Buddy um, Scentsy Buddy, and I love him, and that's where the newborn nursery scent pack comes into play. And I like my Scentsy Buddies to smell like baby powder. <laughs> I just, I'm so happy with it. It's a, a nice pick-me-up scent. Just, I like it. So, um, Hamish the Cow I already have, and then Rex um, came back. And then Oakley the Owl. Rex, I had bought a couple years back on a D stash um, for my grandsons. So, and I'm not too interested in the dinosaurs, but they were. They really loved um, Rex. So, um, snap them up while you can. And then um, Oakley the Owl, I had seen on other um, consultants' YouTube channels, and I thought this was very, very cute. He looked very soft and um, cuddly. And then we have um, Harry Potter coming up, so uh, this kind of can go with Harry Potter, but we'll see. <laughs> and so let's open up the box. So here's the gorgeous box, and then it says Bring Back My Buddy, which is just recent Scentsy Buddy. And then on the top, you have the perforated handle so your littles can carry them, or you can carry them. And then... Um, Okay, these boxes are really, really sturdy. I really like them, but they're hard to open. And then look at Oakley is peeking. Peekaboo! <laughs> and then, um, oh, I like when their face is up. <laughs> he is so fluffy. He is so adorable. Like, he's just one fluff ball. Look at, I am so glad. That they brought back Oakley. I'm not into birds or penguins or anything like that, but this is a gorgeous buddy. Like, look at the wings. The wings have little little beads there. It has the corduroy, and then it has. Um, just gonna show you. It has like beads for eyes. So some people don't like that. They won't give them to their little people because of that. Most of the Sensi Buddies have um, embroidered eyes. And then look at the peak, beak, peak, <laughs> peak. And then the fur is just so soft and you can just smush them and hug them. And, and then the corduroy. And then you got the little bird feathers back there. Got He's full of beads, so he'll sit pretty, pretty well. And then it has bring back my buddy. So that's a special one. These are special collector's items. If you're collecting Scentsy Buddies, um, they only happen to be on the retired Scentsy Buddies that we bring back. And so there's Oakley. Isn't he gorgeous? And he's soft. Like if I could have him sit on my neck, <laughs> I would but he flops over. So he's so, so adorable. So if you're looking for something cute, something adorable, something squishy, something soft, this is the way to go. Um, they're made really, really well. Um, can't complain. Um, my grandkids love them um, and they're brutal with them. So, and they last. <laughs> so believe me, um, these are good quality made. I wouldn't say so if I didn't see it. I would say that no, they're not worth the money. Don't don't um, buy them. But yeah, they're definitely worth the money. So um, there you have it. And then, like I said, the opening back here, and you would shove that in the back if you want to scent your scent buddy. Some people do, some people don't. I like, like I said, the newborn nursery. And then I ended up getting. Uh, Sensi Go Silver. Um, this is, I think, the third one that I've bought. Um, I ended up gifting one. I ended up, oh, actually gifting two. 
um, two people that I know <laughs> wanted them. And then I'm finally getting one for myself, maybe. I don't know. But um, since it goes, or take along, um, instead of having a wall fan diffuser, you can take this in your car. Um, anywhere that you can pick it up and go. Um, so that's why it's called a Sensi Go. It has a plug-in. Um, I can't even open it. Anyways, I'm not going to open it. Um, it has a plug-in and a recharger. Um, if you get just the basic one, it doesn't have all that. It's worth um, paying a little bit extra for the Sensi Go um, Rose or the Sensi Go Silver. And it's just this long, elongated device where you um, plug in or put in your Sensi Pods and then it fragrances up your small area. Um, people put them beside their bed. People take them on trips. Um, take them to work for their cubicles. So that's a neat and different idea if you want to, if people like fragrance but not overly fragrant the area since it goes are the thing to have. And then I picked up, of course, another four warmers. I picked up Grateful Hearts. I've never seen people haul it. So, and I kind of liked it. I kind of had my eye on it for a while. It's kind of that old country farmhouse kind of look. Not that my house is country farmhouse, but it's just really, really neat. It looks like a milk can with the dish. And then I picked up Love Lives Here. It's a glass warmer, but it looked really, really pretty. And um, we'll unbox it in a few. And then, like I said, all of gl gl Glow Small Gray. Isn't that gorgeous? And then, maybe I'll just do another video um, where I plug in all these to give you an idea. So I'll unbox them and then I'll just plug them in and show you. Because um, like I said, I complain when people don't <laughs> plug them in. So if I'm complaining... I'm sure people are complaining about me not showing them plugged in. It's like, what the heck? Why show me a warmer if you can't plug it in? At times I can't, honestly, because of my plug situation. And then I forget, well, what did I have in this box? And it's always a shit show sometimes. <laughs> and so anyways. Um, and then the polar pattern. The polar panorama, which was... Um, the warmer of last December's. This sold out a few times and now it's back and I really really wanted this one so um, you can use this all year round. Um, it's supposed to um, simulate the northern lights. It's very very pretty. It's very heavy. So with saying all that, Oakley and I will bid you adieu <laughs> and I will actually unbox these and then plug them in and then come back and do a short vi shortened video on the warmers um, being plugged in and ready to go. Um, so thank you very much for spending a little bit of time with me and Oakley and my friends behind me. <laughs> they didn't get too much air time. Um, I hope everyone's safe and warm and cozy. Um, <laughs> sorry, I always um, muff up the, the goodbyes. So anyways, <laughs> I hope everyone's happy and safe and cozy. Um, right now, we've had a heat wave here. <laughs> But I'm sure we'll be into snow um, before you know it. So catch on the flip side for my next video. Um, be sure to like and subscribe. If you've already subscribed, be sure to hit that bell for notifications for my next video being um, uploaded. <laughs> Anyways, people are thinking, 
what's wrong with her? I have a lot of brain parts sometimes. <laughs> so it's just like, and I get like, I guess I wouldn't make a good actress. Would I? <laughs> I would just freeze. Anyways, bid you adieu. Catch on the flip side. Bye for now.